you want to change in your family, it starts with you. It is what it is. There ain't no excuses. We ain't pulling punches with it. You want to see a change in your family? Get a change inside of you. And it's available to all of us. There ain't no excuses. You don't like your situation? Change what you consuming. Change what you feeding on. Throw the phone away. You don't need it anyways. I promise you, you're going to live just fine without it. We did for years. I didn't get my first phone until college. We survived. I don't know. We still had the dates. We still had the friends. We still had the family. Get rid of it. Because this changes the game and saves little men following you for eternity. You can't tell me that it happened any other way. It's by what we fed on because our God broke us and we were able to bear fruit that they can ingest, that they can get inside of them and abhor ah, goodness and grace inside of them. God will give you as much as you want. It's on us. You want to see your family change? Get on your knees. Get before your God. Open this book and shut down the electronics. Shut off the TV and get in his presence. You do not rise by getting more of that. You rise by getting more of this and letting him break you. And all those little things that are sucking life out of you, he'll snap them out your life. And it's going to hurt. I lost friends. I had turmoil with some family. But it was for a desired end that my God had for me. And not just for me, for my legacies. Because don't you know he's just one of three that's coming. I'm still knocking for the other two. And as they come to know Jesus, I will be there for them because they're going to see their dad preach a gospel that's saved. They're going to hear the good news of Jesus Christ. And they're going to hear testimony after testimony after testimony of how it changed their life. Not just their dads, but others that they have touched through this gospel. And they are going to be able to eat good fruit because that's a dad's job to do, to feed like that. I want to encourage you guys. You want your life changed? Change what you eat. It really is a simple. And just because it's simple don't mean it's easy. It is simple though. And you are going to have to work at it. But listen to me. <laughs> don't even tell me you can't. Not in this country. Do not tell me you can't get a dollar oh seven. You can go walk Walmart's parking lot and find that much change hanging out. Walk it and go to the Dollar Tree and get you a King James Version Bible, if that's your preference. And I'd be, I don't care what you buy, I honestly don't, but get one in your hand and start putting it in your heart. Because you got the greatest opportunity of a lifetime right here and right now to change everything. I'm talking a destiny of destinies for eternity. And it begins with consuming anew the bread of life, real drink, real food, Jesus. And from cover to cover, it's all him.